M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Let's add our ICOM 52 to our open spot 4. So let's firstly set up the radio. We're just in normal VFO mode at the moment. We have gone into single mode. Just press menu here and hold it. That's dual mode, single. We'll stay out of DR mode for now. Then we'll go menu. And then we'll click the low button to the right until we see the word memory. Then we'll select the center button and scroll down to repeat a list and select enter. Now choose any group. Now I'm choosing the group where I'm where I am been where I have been putting my hotspot. So we're going to click enter. So that I've only got one hotspot in there at the moment. So let's add another one by clicking the quick button. And then we'll go down to add. And then it says type DV repeater, so we'll leave that. We'll name, we'll enter there, and we're going to type in the name by turning the channel knob open. O, enter. Let's call it open for now. Enter. Enter, so that's that done. Now we'll go enter and then go down one. We don't really need the sub name. Call sign, we do need that. So it's going to be M0FXB and then with a B at the end. If it's a duplicate, you say you've already got a B in there, you'll have to put a different letter in like Q. So M, go back one. If you make a mistake, just go forward and then use the VFO to delete. So you turn back and forward, you get numbers and letters. You want a proper zero when you're using letters. M zero. Fast forward it if it's a bit boring. F. Then once you get to the end of your call sign, just hit the the low button and go across as far as it will go and then put in normally a B because I've already got a hotspot in here, I'm going to use Q. And you'll get an error saying duplicate. Okay, so now enter. We've got our call sign in. It automatically puts in your gateway call, so the, the one with the G. We can at this point we could select a different group if we wanted to, but I'm happy with that group. So which is where I put my hotspots down. Use from I always select yes on this. So enter, click yes. Frequency, turn I'm turning the channel knob to go down. Enter and then type in the frequency with your so I'm turning the channel knob and then I'm Selecting four, enter. Let's do that again. Across, hit across, so the low button here. Then minus three, then across one, three, then 900. Like so. Enter, that's our frequency. Now we definitely want a zero shift, so go down one with the DR button. Just don't hold it, just push it and just push the enter button and change it to you do want a zero or a plus so that's fine then go down one again and you want to set it to naught so hit enter here and just turn it backwards till it says naught unless you're using a repeater but we're not this is just for our open spot hit enter because you want a zero shift or it won't work we won't put it in our position now but if you wanted to you could do location go back it's it's whether you want someone to know exactly where you live you could put approximate and then it won't they won't know that okay enter your UTC I'll just leave mine at zero by turning the channel knob add right and turn the channel knob backwards and go yes see we've now created the open spot now we need to select that so we back out completely we push the VFO button we're in normal mode now. Let's hold down the DR button. We're now in DR mode, and then to select our open spot, 
see it says from there you can go up and down highlight it in the blue light blue select the pi star and go back to repeater list and this time turn or select the up and down and select open so we've selected our open spot now the last thing is if you're just you know linking go up one push the enter button and you can select reflector and then you can link here or if you're just going to use the open spot you leave it on use reflector for now the other thing you can get is information so if you want echo test go down to echo test push enter and if we spoke now and we were connected to the open spot it we would hear ourselves go back one hold down dr again enter and if you want information on what we're connected to you should be able to go reflector and then repeater information push enter and when you key the mic now it will tell you what you're connected to otherwise go enter reflector and go use reflector there's more functions but that's the basics of connecting to the open spot let's move on to the open spot now but you know hopefully we can learn to uh, live with them that's for sure so here's the open spot to turn it on just push the this round but hopefully it's not it's got plenty of charge in it Mine's flashing red and transmitting because it's been set up before. So what to wait to make it start from the beginning, we're going to hold down the sort of Wi-Fi emblem button here, which will put it into access mode. Like so. And you should actually hear the radio hear that eventually if we turn the volume up. But right now it's in access mode. Let's go to the computer. Open spot four, first time set up. So we've turned it on. We're going to go to our Wi-Fi and we're going to see OpenSpot 4 Pro listed in our Wi-Fi. We're going to click that, connect. We'll switch over to the control panel of the OpenSpot 4 Pro. Select our country. See, I'm in the United Kingdom. Scroll up a bit, go next. It's now going to find and scan our Wi-Fi and we're going to connect to the top one, put the password in. Like so, that should connect. A few seconds while it sort of switches over. It says acquiring IP address. Tell gives you some more information. That, that will be the one that you're connected to. Click OK. We just wait while this configures. And then what it will do now is it will automatically switch. Just going to click that. There is advanced mode down here if you want it. It gives you more selectors right at the bottom here. You've got the quick setup button, which is right at the bottom right hand corner. That's important. So let's put in our call sign M. Zero FXP. Of course, you need a ham call sign to use this. So that it's found our DMR number, our NXDN. Click save. Now we're on a C4 FM radio, which I shall turn up in the background, like so. Put in the frequency that's on our radio at the top here. I'm going to use in this case 433900. I've turned the radio on, and now we're going to select Brandmeister. Now remember, with Brandmeister DMR. You do need to make sure you put your self-care password. So create an account with Brandmeister here. I'll put a link in. Just when you log in, it says self-care here. See it here? And then at the bottom on the left, put just any password there and save it. And you're going to need to put that when you're on DMR, you're going to need to put that in this server password where it's got the, the dots. Choose your server. I use the United Kingdom. So it's United Kingdom. I think it's 2341. Scroll down, there it is there, 234, it's basically Brandmeister, passwords in, then we'll link a talk group, click the grey block, the, the grey block here, and then we're going to just go straight to worldwide, click worldwide, and we will connect, so remember we're on a C4 FM radio, and we're trying to connect to worldwide, 
and you know it will do that it will announce a few times but eventually it will connect if you're lucky it will connect straight away so let's do some uh, some cross modding we'll, we'll select quick setup here bottom right click we're on a c4 fm radio and let's go to d star so reflector here and we'll go module c which is very common and then the gray box again one charlie so reflector one charlie and then we'll hit connect and sometimes it will go straight in and that's it that's your first time setup so I use I don't use the profiles to be honest I just use what we call quick setup like I said if you click the advanced you get more settings here but quick setup you always choose the radio that you're on first so if you're on a DMR radio you choose DMR first if you're on a D star radio choose that first then choose everything else so we'll just do one more time we're on C4 FM radio FT5 we're going to choose we'll, we'll stay on YSF or fusion we'll click the gray block We'll choose something like CQ UK and then we'll hit connect and you'll hear it announce. When it connects. So we'll connect it, I'll show you some footage at the end of what that looks like. So that's your first time setup for the ASU FT5 on the OpenSwap 4 or 4 Pro. Bye for now, 73. Thanks for watching my channel. All the best. So select quick setup on the bottom right and, uh, then select the D star because uh, you're using a D star radio then select where you want to so go so we will select reflector one Charlie and that's it you're connected and to cross mode you just select a different item like Brandmeister or YSF ETC thanks for watching bye for now But, you know, hopefully we can learn to uh, live with them, that's for sure.